Hey everyone, Kate Langford here, Kate Langford Career Consulting. I thought I would jump on and do a live. Haven't actually done one for a couple of weeks. It's been crazy between birthdays and book launch this Thursday, all super exciting. But I wanted to jump in here and just talk about, uh, I spoke at two events this morning actually. Um, I was a panel member at the Institute of Management Managers and Leaders and it was talking about the workforce in regards to a four day working week. I'd be super keen to hear what people's thoughts are if you wanna drop a link below or if you do wanna chat further about this. But there is a, a lot of push for the four day work week and that is all about burnout, it's all about helping people, you know, reducing those hours so they're not as burnt out. But what actually was really interesting is that, you know, four day work weeks, people are still being burnt out and do you know why? It's because they're not actually loving what they do. They haven't got a purpose for what they actually do. So you might go from a five day working week to a nine day fortnight to a four day working week, but there is still a massive rate of burnout. And that's because you're either being overworked to try and get more work done in that time, or two, you actually don't really enjoy what it is that you're doing. Therefore, you're still in that same feeling, that same, um, you know, that, that toxic feeling of where you're going into work and you don't enjoy it, right? It's still a really, really big thing. So I challenge you to think about this today. Are you in a toxic workplace that you're feeling that, you know, dreaded day of going into work or you're like, oh, I've got to go to work again today or what's it going to be like? Are you someone who is frustrated or maybe getting those rejections on emails or you're looking on seek and you're not sure what you should do and you're in this vicious circle and therefore you just stay where you are because it's easier? If that's you, please, please, please book a 20 minute chat with us because we help so many people do this. All right, I'll pop the link below or jump over to the website katelangford.com.au and book the 20 minute in there. Otherwise, even on this page, because literally we help so many people. So I just thought it was super fascinating that, you know, there's a lot of talk around the four day working week, but it's actually not reducing burnout. It's pretty amazing, you know, and even like the big businesses, even smaller businesses, you know, a lot of people are striving for the purpose piece, then flexibility, then dollars. All right, and so obviously we all need money to be able to go to work and live and the cost of living's going up and petrol and all of those things. But in actual fact, people would much rather stay at home on a Friday night and watch the footy or have pizza, possibly like me, and, you know, actually be really happy in their job, you know, rather than going out. Maybe you're going to cut costs somewhere, but actually really enjoy going to work and wanting to then strive for a promotion and strive to be seen. So I really challenge you to think about this today. If this is you, please, please, please reach out because this is actually what we do. You know, I spoke on this panel and, you know, it was super fascinating that um, there was a few people on there and I was really talking about making sure that you actually love your work and that you're not just good at it or you've got the piece of paper so you should do it or dealing with it because, you know, you've got the financial burden. Sure, if you're a breadwinner, you need to make sure you've got that dollar value, but believe it or not, there is other jobs out there that you don't even realize with the skill sets that you do have that you don't even necessarily know what it is you have you've just got to start somewhere. And that's absolutely what we do here. So I wanted to reach out here today and just remind you that, you know, yes, a four day working week is key. I mean, you know, I actually have a lot of my workforce that do part time, but you know, they are happy. They are working in their genius zone. They are loving what they do. You need to be able to tick the box of going in and feeling excited, waking up early because you can't wait to get to work, um, feeling like a, a pep in your step, wanting to stay longer than you have to, even though you should be going home and you do go home, but you're like, oh gosh, you know, I'll get my to-do list ready for tomorrow. You know, those are feelings that time goes super fast when you're at work. They're the sort of feelings that you should have if you're enjoying a job that you should be doing. So reach out if I can help. Hi Vicky, hi everyone on here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Lots going on here at Kate Langford Career Consulting. We're actually moving offices again, um, which is super exciting. We're moving down to the beach in Caloundra, uh, Bullcock Street. So very, very exciting. Um, but yeah, have an awesome day. And I hope that that was helpful just to really think about burnout. Comment below if you're struggling with burnout. Comment below if you're hearing what I'm saying. And if you do want to book a 20 minute chat, I'll drop that link there now. So Karen, she's just said, my company introduced the four day working week in April and it's going great. We're actually working harder at the moment as we are in startup, but knowing I have every Friday off, I get personal stuff done. Awesome, but do you know what, Karen, I love about that is you're actually enjoying your work. That's also key. 
you're not just the four day week is great but it's actually enjoying your work would you agree Karen that that's the power of enjoying what you're doing that actually makes a difference it's quite fascinating anyway I'll leave you to it I hope you have an amazing day and um, yeah reach out if we can help all right see ya